Gary Van Voorhees. Thank you very much. First, I want to applaud my colleague for coming up and having the courage to say what he has said, because I think when someone speaks from the heart and their perception, they should be applauded for that. But I will say that I have a different perspective than that. I have been a lifelong resident of Newburgh. I've worked at NFA for about 15 years. I am proud to be part of the NFA family. And my perception is yes, we have problems in that high school. And some of them are very challenging. And yes, we have teachers who are upset and angry over admi administrators. But I can tell you that there is a group of us who don't hold that same opinion. There's a group of us that have seen how hard administrators have worked to fix problems once they are recognized. There's a group of us who believe and are confident in this board that if and when you find the conclusion that you'll do the right thing and that you will do it fairly, openly, and honestly. And that's what most of us want. I, uh, I'm reminded of an old movie called uh, Network. I remember an actor saying that he's mad as hell, he's not gonna take it anymore. Well, that's how I personally feel. Because I don't like, I don't know if you've read the papers lately, but uh, <laughs> we're getting beat up pretty good. And I'm not saying it's right or wrong or justified, that's up for the investigation to find out. But it's hard to take when the good work that teachers and administrators do together, that goes unnoticed every day in that building. And I have the unique perspective that I was an administrator once in that building, so I see both sides of it. I see the problems that are diffused every day and the kids that are saved every day by administrators who do care and by teachers who do care. And I want the board to know that, that we're not all angry and we're not all up, up, upset about certain policies. We want a conclusion, we want it to, to be fixed, and we want this to go over so we can all be together again and do the right thing for our kids. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Van Voorhees. Your comments have been recorded by the board clerk. Marcus Henderson. probably here but I'm here just to let everyone know how I feel about this and like he said over there the stuff been going on a long time but these last two seasons not this season when I played a lot of people try to help us and a lot of people are trying to blame coach Dino trying to blame Miss Bunce and a lot of other people but if you think about it People didn't graduate because they couldn't pass the regents. It's not the principal's fault. She tried her best to help you. Yeah, she went out her way, and she wanted to do whatever she could to help. She put her job in jeopardy just to try to help us, and no one realizes that because she cares so much about us. If she didn't care about us like that, she wouldn't let us play like we did, but she just wanted to help us because she knew basketball was all we had. And all this stuff going on in the paper, everybody saying this, that, and the third, they don't never say about the parts when Mike McLeod then played a championship game in the section nine, cha section nine, the year we won. Uh, it's not in there when I didn't play the first quarter because I got in trouble in school. None of that stuff is said in the paper, but they wanna say all the bad and negative stuff, admit everything, and I just don't understand it. I don't think no one should be held accountable for this. The student athletes who didn't play, I mean, who didn't graduate, excuse me, who didn't graduate, that's on them. I mean, they know what they had to do, and I talk to them a lot. I care about them, I love them like they're my brothers, and I wish them the best of luck, and I'm always there if they need me, but I just hate to see anybody lose their job over this because it's not worth it, because all they want to do is help us. They might have did it the wrong way, but you learn from your mistakes. I know I made a lot of mistakes in my life, 
And if I mess up, I'm gonna want a second, third, and fourth chance and keep going. But that's all I wanted to say tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Henderson. Your comments have been recorded by the board clerk. Louis Brumel. coach at NFA and I would just like to say that what's been going on is a it, it's just horrible because I thought that teachers administrators were there for the kids if you wanted to win a state championship maybe you should have tried something else because what we did was use those kids for our own games that's what we did now, the other thing is, all of this could not have been perpetrated had it not been for the help of the administration and the coaches and those people. It couldn't have been, no kid could have gone down to the, the, the attendance office and said to the attendance officer, you need to change this and you need to change that without some help. It could not have been done. So when they, when they talk about people being dishonest, I don't think that teachers, administrators are supposed to teach kids to be dishonest. This is like stealing. There's no difference. You stole their education and they have nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. You do have in your, your hands at the high school a state championship and that stuff came on their backs because you wanted them to play. I know for a fact that I had no kid cut classes and were able to play. I know that for a fact. We didn't win any state championships, but I thought that was the right way to go. So I just think that we need to hold people responsible for what they did and people stop trying to hide and cover it up. The facts are out there, so let's take care of them. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Grimmel. Your comments have been recorded by the board clerk. 